Hi there, Daniel from Cycler here again, and today we're going to be looking at automating pipe drive using Cycler. So what we're going to do here is we're going to be using just the pipe drive connector here. So you should make sure that's installed and ideally authenticated so you can dynamically draw fields from your pipe drive account. So what we want to do first off is we're going to be looking at automating deals as they change in your pipeline. So we go open deals here and we go use this updated deal method here which we just drag onto the builder. This is going to trigger the entire process we're about to build. So once this deal has been updated, let's get the deal so we can get more information about it. And we connect the two up here and set this up by saying what the deal ID is, which we can get from the previous step here. There we go. And what we're going to be doing is we're going to look for deals that are at a particular stage of a pipeline. Um, so what we can do is we use our decision so uh, step here. We can drag this on here. Connect it up. And when we're setting it up, we're going to be using the updated deal field. And then if we go down to stage ID here, and we want to do on the condition of equals, what we get here is a lookup table here. This will look into your pipe drive and show you all your available stages within a pipeline. So you can actually then scroll through it here and select one. So here I've chosen one called profile construction. So when the deal has been found to be on this, this step here, what we can do is follow this true branch here. We're going to update the deal. So we connect that through the true branch and set it up. So your initial stage is here. You just want to tell it what the deal ID is here. But the main thing you want to concentrate here is at the bottom with this stage section. So what we can do is we also get another lookup field. And we can actually select another stage on the same pipeline or another pipeline, depending on what you want to do. So what that will do is, let's just move that to scheduled for now. So let's close that. When this cycle now runs, it will look for a deal when it's updated. If it finds that the deal is currently on profile construction, it then sends the deal to a completely different stage or a different pipeline. So this is really useful if you've got other teams that operate on different pipelines that maybe work on a specific section of your business. Um, you can also extend this by adding activities to some reminders uh, to people that are going to be dealing with it. Or if you want to do multiple changes depending on different stages of, of the rest of your pipeline, use the no field here and you can make decision steps like this looking for different parameters and different stages. There's a lot of different things you can do. You can make really large mental, <laughs> mental uh, automations that will automate a a massive chunk of your business. So have a play around with it and let us know what, uh, what you come up with because we're really keen to see what people can make. Thanks for listening. Bye.